Well hello everybody, I'm Stella Sig, welcome to Chop Chop Customs, this is episode 1 of a brand new series. We will be starting on my channel, hopefully you will all enjoy it, get yourself comfortable, grab some cookies, some popcorn, because what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be going out into the wilderness of Australia, we're going to look for some unloved, beaten up, rusted, dented cars that we're going to be purchasing, we're going to be bringing them back to the shop, we're going to be giving them a little bit more power, shit ton more power, a new lick of paint, make them look all pretty and then hopefully what we're going to do is we're going to sell them into the auction house for a bit of a profit. Um, that is, is, is the basis, premises behind this series, um, we will go through each stage, we'll be selecting the car, uh, we'll be adding upgrades, we'll be painting it, we'll taking it out for a test drive. The vehicle you can see in front of you right now is our chop chop truck. Uh, we have a logo on the truck which I will just rotate down now so you can see it. It is that one right there. That was done by TR The Flash. Uh, and what we're going to try and do with the Chop Chop truck is, this is open to you guys as well, so you can all create logos and I will stick them onto my truck. As you can see, we've got quite a bit of real estate space available, uh, as long as it's suitable for work and clean. Um, just upload them onto the game, uh, put in the description Stella Stig Chop Shop, um, and I will download them and stick them on the truck. Simple as that. And then over the course of the series, we'll be have an awesome truck with loads of logos that you guys have created and we can cruise around looking fucking awesome. Okay, so we've already got the drone up in the air and mobile. We're going to scope out the one car that we have identified already. We looked through the internet, had a browse round. We've only got 100k to spend to start off with until we start making some more money. Um, so this car was on the market for 25,000 credits, which I thought was a nice easy start because we're going to need some credits to actually add parts into it. And this is the car that we're going to look like we're going to be buying. And oh my, it looks like they like stickers. Stickers and green wheels. It's an interesting combination. It looks like the bodywork is absolutely shot. But for 25,000 credits, it's within our budget. I'm pretty sure we can do something with that. Okay, alright, let's get the drone out of here. We've got his phone number. Uh, the guy is called Peter. Uh, so we'll give him a call and see what he's got to say. Hello, is that, uh, Peter? No. I'm sick and tired of you people always calling during dinner. Oh, well, I'm sorry about that. I didn't realise you were having lunch. I was phoning about the car you've got for sale. Oh, uh, yeah, that's me. Oh, so you are Peter? Yeah, hi, this is Peter Griffin. Ah, right, okay, cool, right, so we, we, we know where we are. I'm just phoning about the, uh, the, the Nissan you have for sale that uh, you've got advertised. I'm interested in, uh, in buying it off you. Yeah, sure. Okay, so you've got it. Um, you got it advertised for twenty-five thousand credits. So I just wondered if you were uh, willing to take a little bit less than that. You are one sick bastard. You know that? Oh, where do you come up with this stuff? Oh God, I am never gonna get that out of my head. Well, I, I, yeah, well, it, it, it's usually the way that people advertise stuff, and you can usually barter a little bit. And I just wondered if the the, the the price of the car was open for negotiation. Say yes, sir. Oh, that's great. Cool. Um, so, I, I was thinking maybe about... Uh, I'm going to start off a little bit low, about, about 15,000 credits. How does that sound to you? Oh, I, I don't know if I can do that. Okay, bef be before we get into buy, someone if you tell me a little bit about the car. Um, how many owners has it had before? Three. Just three? Uh, okay, okay. Did you do... Um, so, this is in the body works in quite a, quite a bad condition. Uh, and it's got quite a lot of logos and, and vinyls on there. W was, was that something you added to it? Sir, no, sir. Okay, okay, cool, cool. cool. So, yeah, did, did, did. have you done many miles in it? Does it does it run? Yeah. Okay, cool. That, 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 that's positive then. Um, cause I'm looking at doing a few modifications myself and uh, maybe maybe sprucing it up a little bit. Um, so, can you tell me anything interesting in the car? Any any anything about the previous owners? Britney Spears. What? Britney Spears owned that car? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. I, 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 it's not the kind of car I would have thought Britney Spears would have drove, but I'll I'll, I'll take your word for it. Uh, I'm sure it will all be on the documents anyway. The previous owners, um, I'll be able to uh, be able to sort that out. 
Are you trying to piss off the volcano? Uh, no, 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 not at all. <laughs> well, well, let's 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 just get back onto the car. Let's go leave Britney Spears out of it. Let's get back onto the car. Um, now I'm interested in buying it. I've got 20k. You're asking 25. I want a 15. How about we meet in the middle and I pay I'll give you 20,000 credits for it. Wire it over to you today. You'll be good to go. Sure, whatever floats your boat. Cool. If, that, if that's where, if that works for you, um, then what I'll do is I'll send one of the guys over uh, from the from the shop, and we'll come and pick that up, and we'll take it off your hands, and uh, we'll do business. Um, what time's good for you? Three o'clock. You sure? It's th three three o'clock. Okay for you. It's good for me. Two two thirty. Okay, two two thirty. Between two and three o'clock. Today. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Between two and two thirty today. We'll come and pick that up off you. Yeah. Now I get to bed around two, two thirty. Okay, so it, uh, we'll come before two then. We'll come before two, and we'll pick the car up, and you can go to bed. Is that good with you? Have we got ourselves a deal? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. Right. Well, thank you, Peter. Um, it's been a pleasure talking to you, and my girl will be over soon to pick up the car. Uh, goodbye. Jackass. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so that was an interesting conversation, and I think we've got ourselves a sale. Um, so we'll send the guys over to go and pick the car up, we'll bring it back. Uh, while they're doing that, we'll have a short commercial break, and we'll see you on the other side. Welcome back to part two of the show, and I've heard from Jeff. He's literally pulling up to the shop now. Um, so let's get the Nissan into the shop let's see what sort of condition it's in and let's have a think about what sort of thing we can do with that okay so we've got it in the garage um, the paint work actually looks a lot worse than I first suspected the logos are definitely gonna go as well are the green wheels that, why 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 would you have green wheels um, the overall the body work looks pretty straight though, so that's, that's going to be a bonus. Um, but yeah, I have no idea how long this car has been outside in the sun and all the paint's been coming off by the looks of it. Um, so thoughts on this car. Now I think what we're going to do with this car, we're going we're, we're gonna to try and spend quite a lot on it to soup it up and just make it a lot more desirable. It is the first car that we're going to launch, so we want people to actually notice us and to actually grab a bit of attention so we're going to go full out with this car i've um, got a few ideas what we're going to do so without further ado let's hand her over to the body shop boys let's see what they do with her and let's see how she comes out Okay, so you can see quite plainly for yourselves that the car we have now is completely different to the car we had previous. So the Body Shop guys have pretty much gone to town on this car. Uh, they've got rid of all the bodywork issues, all them logos, got rid of them damn green wheels. Uh, they've got the car ready for the paint, which we will be coming to very shortly. Um, but as you can see, they have gone with a full Rocket Bunny kit. Uh, some nice black rims uh, with some logo tyres. Nice tyre writing, we've got a chop shop plate on there still. Um, so overall, I think you'll agree that this car now looks one million times better than it did before. Uh, so we're going to go over now the parts that we have applied to this car. And as you can see, we have pretty much spent the whole of our budget. Uh, we've got a 6.2 litre V8 engine in there, the Rocket Bunny wide, uh, wide body kit. Uh, we've gone with 18 inch rims front and rear, race brakes, race springs got rid of a whole host of weight reduction from in there this car is now a beast a beast I tell you so now that we have the bodywork all sorted we have it looking pretty there's just one thing left to do to make it look even better and that's of course apply our custom one-off paint uh, this paint is unique to this car and I will not create another paint like it um, so let's hand it over to the paint booths I know what they're gonna do I won't spoil the surprise. It's going to look cool. So 
So this is the paint that we've decided to go with for this. Listen. Now with this one I didn't want to go too wild, too overboard, try and keep it quite plain, quite simple. So we've got carbon fibre body panels on. You can see the wide arch kit is carbon fibre. And we scroll all the way round. Carbon fibre light covers, carbon fibre front splitter. Um, the paint job itself is quite basic. Uh, we've gone for like a baby blue colour. Uh, but what we've done with it is we've got the stripes on, but we've given it that faded look, so it looks like it's kind of old and new at the same time. Uh, we've also got the Stella Stig little logo on there, like Reservoir Stigs. Uh, we've got the C Chuck Shop Custom Episode 1. Uh, so when this goes in the auction house and you buy it, you will be the only person with this paint in this car, and this will be the car from this series. I've uh, got some details on there for my shout outs to live streaming and YouTube and, and whatnot. Uh, and then on the back as well, we've got uh, Chop Chop Customs Episode 1. Uh, so everybody knows where you got it. It's on the roof as well. Uh, and there you go. That is the car we have ended up with. I hope you like it. Because it's going to be available to buy very soon. We are going to put this in the auction house and we're going to take it for a test drive. But before we do that, uh, and then you guys can find out how to purchase this car in game, uh, we're just going to have a short commercial break and we'll be back right after that. Welcome back to the show, and as you can see, we are sat inside our 240 SX. Uh, you can see the interior is not to change from the original, because basically we didn't have enough money left to do anything on the interior other than give it a clean. Um, so all that's left to do now, in part three of the show, is to take her out for a spin, show you how she handles, and then stick her in the auction now so you guys can buy her. Uh, we'll go over how much we're going to sell her for, because we need to try and make some profit to keep this show going. We've only got 100,000 credits, we've pretty much spent most of that already. So we need to try and make some money back in the auction house. Um, and hopefully one of you lucky guys will be able to purchase this. So let's take it out on the road and take it for a spin. Okay, so we're going to take the car for a spin around the block. Uh, we're not going too far, we're just going to show you a brief example of how she handles. Uh, she has got quite a bit of power compared to the standard version. We'll go over all the stats in a moment before we put it in the auction house. We're just going to see how she handles. She is going to slide quite nicely because that's what we've asked for. This car isn't really a race car, it's more of a drift car. So we're going to see what we can do. Hopefully we won't hit anybody and we'll try and be a bit of a, bit of a hooligan. Unfortunately, my drifting skills are not up to that of the car. And there's a tram coming. We will not win a fight against a tram. I'm sure people with better drifting skills than me will be able to do a lot better than I am. Although we did thread the needle through those cars quite nicely. So before we attract the attention of the police, we'll pull back into the shop and we'll get to Selena. Okay, so we're getting ready to put it in the auction house. Now, for the purpose of this, because there is a credit limit on the most, you can uh, do a buyout price. And this car has cost, in total, just short of 99,000 credits. Uh, now, I'm hoping that they didn't do the max buyout price uh, so low because we could have made some credits off this and continued the series. Uh, so the purpose of this, anything, what we sell this car for, we will double it, otherwise we'll just be stuck doing low budget cars. And what I want to try and do is build up the series so we can get more expensive cars along the way. Um, so anything, what we ever sell it for, we will double. And then that will be the amount that we will have to spend on the next car for the next episode. So if we sell it for 112, that'll be 224 thousand credits that we have to spend for the next one so just a little heads up for that uh, we are going to do a minimum starting price of 3,000 credits buyout price 112,000 credits we're going to do it for 24 hours um, and hopefully this will add it to the auction house now you'll be able to search it um, and have a look at all the stats on it and uh, check out how much power it's got it's got quite a bit it's 
It's got about nearly 800 brake horsepower, I think, overall. Um, so it's not short of a bit of speed. Hopefully the auction house will play. And there you go, your 1993 Nissan 240SX SE was successfully listed in the auction house. Watch the progress of this sale in my auctions. Um, so there you go, guys. That car is now available for you to buy. And we'll wave goodbye to her. So that brings us to the end of Chop Shop Customs Episode 1. I hope you've all enjoyed it. There is now a car that we've bought, made a hell of a lot better. Put it on the market. Hopefully she'll sell for quite a few credits. If you do buy her, uh, then just let me know at on Twitter at, at Statistic. Send me some screenshots um, and have some fun. And just let me know how you got on. Um, also, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't feel scared to press that like button just let me know if we should continue this series if you find it enjoyable any comments stick them in the comment section below and hopefully we will see you all in episode two of chop shop customs ciao for now <laughs>